Before I jump into this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here. If you really enjoyed the content, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. We're on our road to 150,000 subscribers and you guys can help me get there. That being said, I also wanna make sure that I share with you today's sponsor. One morning out of curiosity, I decided to Google my name, expecting the usual links to my social media, YouTube channels, all of that stuff, and maybe a few mentions on some websites here and there. But what I stumbled upon was a rabbit hole of data sites I'd never heard of before. Suddenly, I wasn't just a content creator, I was an open book. My kids' names, their ages, even their school information were all laid bare under my name. My family members' details, my parents, my grandparents were no exception. And to my horror, my private phone number was also floating out there. Now, I'm no stranger to the internet spotlight, but I had naively believed that some part of my identity remained private. That belief was shattered when a search for my fiance's name revealed our home address. How is it that such personal details are easily accessible by anyone with internet access? This wake up call led me to Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me exactly which data brokers had my information and automatically submits opt-out requests on my behalf. The peace of mind that comes with knowing I'm taking steps to protect my family's online presence is invaluable. Beyond just cleaning up my digital footprint, Aura offers a comprehensive suite of tools to keep me and my loved ones safe online, including antivirus, virtual private networks known as VPNs, password management, and more, all in one affordable package. I guarantee your information is out there too on these data broker sites. I encourage you to Google yourself right now now and see where you are compromised. If you do nothing, the best case scenario is maybe just some more spam. The worst case scenario is scammers and thieves use this information to target you and your bank accounts. For anyone who values their privacy as much as I do, I highly recommend checking out Aura. You can start a 14 day free trial by visiting Aura.com slash Nintendo Prime. It's also linked below in the description. Let's take back control of our online presence and protect what matters most. <laughs> At this point, you know, I'm always trying to bring you the latest and greatest on Nintendo Switch 2. And yesterday, we talked about a potential game that a company was hiring somebody for. And it turned out that, hey, they are trying to bring this game to Nintendo Switch 2. Whether or not development started yet or not seemed a little fishy. We weren't really sure. But it still was a developer publicly talking about it. Now today isn't one of these, oh man, uh, developers publicly talking about Nintendo Switch 2. Those kind of stories are rare, but still cool. Uh, it's actually a rumor and we haven't actually dove into any Switch 2 rumors for a while, but the reason I wanna talk about this particular rumor, and again, rumors are meant to be doubted and taken with the appropriate levels of salt and whatever else you wanna say, what I want to make sure that you understand here is the reason we're talking about this rumor is because it supports something we already heard from a previous rumor. If you remember all the rumors around Nintendo Switch 2 being internally delayed to 2025, early 2025, it came from this guy known as PH Brazil. Uh, he's a reporter and actual journalist out of Brazil. And then it was verified by a bunch of other, or I guess not really verified because we haven't seen any evidence, but it at least uh, have multiple other confirmations from other outlets uh, backing up his claims. So the reason we're bringing this up is because that same person mentioned that Nintendo Switch 2 was going to be revealed in June. Now, he said that was just the plan at the time. It could obviously change. And he hasn't really talked since February, uh, at least publicly in any sort of fashion that's given any indication that this has changed. And even Nate the Hate sort of suggested that June makes sense. So yes, we are at least tangentially expecting a reveal of some type of Switch 2 in June, but we have other reasons to believe Switch 2 might be revealed this summer. And that's why we're talking about this story. The deals with a game and a franchise 
I don't pay a lot of attention to, but maybe I need to start doing it. And again, this is just a rumor, but let's pop on over here to Twitter where we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So these are scans of a magazine from Japan, the V-Jump stuff. And look, all this is basically doing is just talking about the game, right? There's nothing in particular switch to about any of this, but it's important we give you this context because some things in this kind of back up the rumor. Now, again, we'll get to the rumor in a moment, but I just want to make sure you guys got a good look at these scans. Again, I don't know what any of this stuff says, but obviously we know the name of the game, Sparking Zero. Now, that's really cool. But in this magazine article, apparently it says a Powerverse speed trailer is coming soon. Now, again, this is according to this person, you know, DBS hype, Dragon Ball hype. I don't know a lot about him, but he's apparently claiming that Powerverse speed is in here. And I, that's why I brought up these scans. So if any of you guys read Japanese or whatever and want to confirm that the Powerverse speed thing is coming and you can see speed's a big thing here. You can see the power things. Are big. So it, it seems pretty accurate, at least as far as I'm able to verify. But well, when you scroll down here, there was this 4chan leak also posted uh, by another user here called It's Me Sparks. And this is where we get into some interesting details. And again, this tr supposed trailer coming up is what backs up this. And this trailer, in fact, will confirm or, de or, or deconfirm this. So here's what it said. Hello, I'm here to get some information for the next trailer of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which is titled Power vs. Speed. Again, that's where that power versus speed confirmation from that magazine article matters because it's saying it's power versus speed and they're very much indicating power versus speed. So it says the trailer isn't focused on a particular character or duo of characters, but instead a bunch of characters in different era of Dragon Ball. It goes in order, starting from the original Dragon Ball all the way to the Super GT isn't showed yet. It features the character types game mechanic, which separate characters into types all around, power, speed, and technique. It reminds you of the Mario and Sonic Olympic game series. It's totally normal. Spike Chunsoft drew inspiration from it. First fight is from the 23rd TB, showcasing Goku versus Chi Chi with a sneak peek of Goku versus uh, Ma, Ma Junior fight. Again, I don't know Dragon Ball very well, so I apologize for butchering this stuff, but this is all going to make sense in a moment. The second fight, the highlight of this trailer, is from the Boo Saga with a splendid Super Vegetto versus Majin Buu. Again, I'm not very good at this stuff here. Ultimate Gohan. Uh, that part starts with the Potala fusion cutscene and ends with Vegetto holding Majin Buu with the spiritual sword. Final fight for the trailer, which is more of a tease than a real fight, is from T.O.P. Tournament of Power Saga with Ultra Instinct Goku versus Jiren the moment Goku transforms into Mastered Ultra Instinct. The release window is announced as Winter 2024. A slide shows all the platform releases, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X slash S, PC, and a mysterious question mark. On the question mark is written, announced on summer 2024. For me, that question mark sounds like Sparking Zero is releasing on the new Nintendo console, but I'll gather more information to be sure for a possible update. And again, this was posted back in February and for the most part was ignored. You had some Dragon Ball fans obviously getting really excited about it, but again, 4chan leaks are what they are. Uh, there are legit things that leak there, but there's so much just fake stuff as well. So most people didn't really know what was going on with this, but now that we know the next trailer is going to be that, that, that whole uh, power versus speed dynamic, and that's like the name of the trailer, now we watch the trailer to find out. So we're going to actually be pay, having to pay attention when this trailer drops. That, but what's fascinating is we're not going to have to wait long, right? Like we'll get the confirmation on this if the trailer drops soon, hopefully this upcoming week. And then, hey, we can, we can actually dissect it. I am so curious about this, though, because the question mark, you know, saying announced in summer 2024, that to me does really sound like the next Nintendo platform. If it's on the platform screen, that would just be like, hey, we know Nintendo's announcing this system in 2024. We're not going to specifically say Nintendo, so we can't get in trouble about it. We're just teasing. We're going to announce a new platform. 
this summer and if they end up not announcing the switch 2 this summer and there you go this platform isn't confirmed for it it is what it is and obviously switch 2 is not coming out this winter it's coming out next year but it could still end up being a launch game or within the launch window i find this all to just be really really fascinating so this is just one of those rumors that kind of backs another rumor from more credible places though if you wanted more evidence to suggest that we are going to have switch 2 revealed this summer we need to pay attention to this Dragon Ball Sparking Zero trailer just to see if that's the case. And you know what? When this trailer drops, I will make sure that I watch it and give you guys an update. It'll maybe not be its own individual video. We'll see. I mean, if it actually happens and this question mark is there, then yeah, we'll have to go in and talk even more in depth about this. But for now, I'll just, you know, if it's not there, the update will be, hey, it turns out that this wasn't true. And here's some other news and, and, and all of that. But I just find this to be interesting. Okay, again, I don't know a lot about Dragon Ball, and i sorry for all the stuff I butchered. I do know the creator uh, did recently pass away, so obviously rest in peace, and my heart goes out to all of you that are really feeling the impact of that loss, including, or most importantly, the man's family, but all the fan base has obviously been feeling it as well lately. So I just wanted to make sure that I actually address that here towards the end of the video, because I don't want to just ignore that we lost a major figurehead uh, and literally the creator of the entire franchise. So, um, yeah, rest in peace, man. But this is kind of exciting, but still a rumor. I'm just saying we're looking for all the possible hints, right? We are a channel that's trying to stay on top of all the Nintendo news, including Switch 2 stuff. And this is just one of those things where a couple things lined up. We'll see. We'll see if this 4chan rumor is, is <laughs> true soon enough, I suppose. All right, folks. That's all I got for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy your weekends, and I'll catch you in the next video.